So wouldn't it be great if we could have this level of deformation complexity but able to evaluate in real time? Well, what we are now able to do is to use machine learning to compress that simulation data into a format that can be evaluated at runtime. So you are looking at our ML character with deformations driven by full muscle flesh and cloth simulation from Houdini. It's running in real time and on PS5. It's taking around one tenth of a millisecond on CPU for network inference. And as you see it here, around one millisecond on GPU for morph target evaluation. So this is a fully generalized model. We have not just trained it on the cinematic animation that we can see here. So on the left is the nearest neighbor model with just the PCA layer active. And on the right, you can see how the additional nearest neighbor set improves the fold reconstruction. So to help generate the optimal set of nearest neighbor poses, we have implemented a K means pose generator. So given a set of target animations, so typically these would be your game or cinematic animations, and a max pose value, it will generate a set of poses that most efficiently cover that animation space. We simulated our clothing for these additional poses in Houdini, and then we trained our additional nearest neighbor set using this data. We would love for you to come and chat to us at a booth. You can get hands-on with this demo. You can change cameras, switch between mus muscular skeletal, flesh, and clothing layers. You can pause the action, and you can see the deformation result both with and without a mold deformer running. Character animators have plenty to look forward to in this release. The machine learning deformer lets you generate high fidelity approximations of deformation rigs from Maya that execute in real time in UE. The guiding vision for MetaHuman has been the democratization of complex character technologies, allowing you to work faster and see the results immediately. A character is only truly believable if its motion fidelity matches its visual fidelity, but animating at this level is a hard task for even the most skilled studios. Some of our best work leveraged 4D capture, but this took specialized hardware and weeks or even months of processing time. While MetaHuman Creator gave you the ability to generate high-quality characters, Animating them still wasn't as easy. This is why I'm very excited to announce a new capability to the MetaHuman product, MetaHuman Animator. <laughs> MetaHuman Animator contains the essence of our 4D pipeline, but optimized to run on a single machine. It is able to use iPhone, as well as stereo professional systems, and today, we're going to demonstrate how it works. For this, we're going to need Mel, yeah. our technician John Cook, and just the phone. <laughs> Mel, can you take your position, please? Sure. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. OK. OK, and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. Cut. Thanks, Mel. That was great. Yeah, you're welcome. OK. Our technician, John, is currently pulling Mel's performance from the phone onto his machine, where everything will be processed locally. We have updated our Live Link Face mobile app to capture all data at the best resolution possible with the device. MetaHuman Animator uses video and depth data to convert um, uh, this data into high-fidelity performance animation, and it can even use audio to produce convincing tongue animation. John is currently scrubbing through the take to pick the section that he wants to process. John, are we all good with the data? Awesome. So from now on, it's just a single button click to kick off the processing, which for a performance of this length will take less than a minute to convert into animation. So Mel, while that is processing, let me show you something else. Yeah. Oh, is that me? Yeah. This is what we refer to as your MetaHuman DNA. Cool. 
And this is generated by the capture we made earlier, right? Yeah, that's right. So from only three frames of video and that data, we can generate a rig that predicts all of your facial expressions in just a couple of minutes. Wow. And do you only need to do this once for each actor? Yes, that's right. It calibrates the solver to your face so that we can produce the performance in, in, a, in a way that faithfully reproduces your original performance. That sounds cool. Yeah. So let's check back on the, on the processing, which today is on the latest CPU and GPU hardware from AMD. MetaHuman Animator uses a custom Epic Facial Solver and Landmark Detector. We can interactively look at the animation while it's being solved and compare it to your original performance. So it looks like it just, it's almost finished. After this, it's going to do one more pass to make the curves more stable, which is really quick. And from here on, we, can, we just need to export the animation. This takes only a few seconds. And then John needs to drop it in the level and add the audio so that we can see the result. So Mel's MetaHuman should now be ready in the level. Mel, you excited to see the results? Yeah, can't wait to see it. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. Thank you all. So, Mel, what do you think? I think it's incredible because it usually takes months between performance capture and getting any results back, so this is blowing my mind. <laughs> and all of this is solved directly onto animator friendly controls. In this case, we are using a bespoke 4D rig, which we created together with Ninja Theory for Hellblade 2, but it's also ready to use on any MetaHuman or any other rig that follows our new MetaHuman standard. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. So the same thing works even on stylized characters. I'm a virtual human created by Ziva Dynamics. I'm powered by state-of-the-art biomechanical simulation, and I'm running in real time in Unity. But enough about me. I have some even more amazing news to share with you today. I'm excited to announce that today, Ziva, my creators, are now part of the Unity family. Unity and Ziva have a shared vision of making realistic, lifelike character creation accessible and scalable for all artists regardless of skill level. And it's not just for virtual humans like me, but for any kind of creature, monster, or animal imaginable, realistic or stylized. Ziva's leadership in character simulation, deformation, and machine learning, along with Unity's deep knowledge of real-time technology, makes this an effortless and powerful partnership. As we grow together, Unity and Ziva will continue serving the many innovative teams, creators and engines that use our technology. By acquiring Ziva, Unity will further democratize Ziva's best-in-class tools to allow artists like you to create digital characters like me. We want to thank you for all of your support over the past seven years. Ziva has learned so much, and we couldn't have done any of it without your passion and dedication to incredible digital art. It's been a whirlwind journey, but I'm certain it's just the start. This type of virtual human interactive face performance can only be executed with real-time software from Ziva Dynamics.
Thank you.